and welcome home. I'm Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, custom home builder, custom home designer, here for you live like I am every Saturday from 6 to 8, and Sundays from 9 to 11, to be, for you, an advocate as you uh, wrestle through uh, construction issues on your home. Uh, a design mentor for you because when it comes to transforming your home, design matters most. And just to be a friendly voice in your morning as you take on the noble work of turning your ordinary house into something extraordinary. Uh, all right, the team is uh, all here. Misty is in charge as per usual. Uh, Sam is on the board doing what he does. And we got uh, Mark Reiner on the news desk this morning. Good morning, Mark. Nice to be here. How is it going here at KFI? <laughs> you tell me. How do I sound? <laughs> you sound great. You okay. sound fantastic. I'm glad to be aboard. Been training for a while. First solo today, so cross your fingers. Well, welcome home, Mark Ron. Yeah, no, you sound you, you sound great. This is an easy this is an easy run. Right? <laughs> well, good to know. Everybody's half asleep anyway. No one will notice. That's right. <laughs> uh, my better half, definitely. My design partner, uh, the co-founder and co-owner of House Whisper, and uh, probably the, the real person in charge anyway. Tina is sitting across the table from me. Good morning. Wait, why well, well, I can't hear you? Wait, oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see how you were going to react to all that. In case it wasn't good. But you said a nice thing, so I turned your mic off. <laughs> all right. It's going to be a little cooler this weekend, which I think is a uh, huge a good thing. So let's just start kind of uh, relaxing now, shall we? I know you're up. Uh, you're you're on to your day. Uh, good on you for that. I like early rising people. We get up at 5 o'clock every morning, uh, no matter what's going on. Even on vacation days, so we're just like, well, can we? Yeah, let's go back to sleep. But we're still up. Anyway, this is the plan for the weekend, by the way, right here on the program. And don't, please, don't overreact to this. I don't know why people... Okay, the theme of the oh, weekend is it. house history. All right? House history. And, it, and Jennifer Jones Lee heard this on uh, Friday, getting ready for uh, my time with her yesterday morning. And her reaction was... Was like, ah, uh, I, you know, I, I think I get. It sounds it. like school. Yeah, I, it does. It's, it's, it's like, uh, put that mic closer to you. Um, it, I think a lot of, I have to remember that a lot of people have reactions against history, history class in school, like maybe the most boring of all classes. I don't know. I That's love teachers. Fault. I loved history, loved it, and I had some good teachers too. So. Anyway, what? Why? Why? Why are we doing this, Dean? Why are we talking about the history of houses? I'll tell you why. If you know anything about architecture, then you know that homes. We're just talking about residential architecture, obviously. Uh, homes wow. evolve with the lives and the circumstances of the people living in. That should be obvious to anybody. But uh, understanding where homes come from really frees us up to honor their past without being trapped in it. Ah, aha, aha. Now, this is, this is where this all touches you and uh, your life and your home. Because as you plan on or thinking about transforming your home, uh, remodeling, uh, adding additions, maybe building a brand new home from the ground up, it doesn't matter. The whole spectrum. As we think about living in our homes and doing anything to them, uh, then uh, it's important not to be trapped by the past story that your home is holding on to. Whatever architectural story, if it has one, uh, it was uh, emulating or trying to emulate or it is a descendant of, okay? There are a lot of uh, what we might call, I think the proper word is vestigial, vestigial elements to uh, architecture these days, residential architecture, 
that are things that you don't necessarily have to honor when you are moving forward with Rima. Now, there are other things that you absolutely should. So where is the line? Where, you know, where are the rules that we need to follow versus the things that we can change and the freedom that we have to uh, get creative with our design and really make it ours? Well, part of discovering that line is uh, knowing a little bit about where the house came from to begin with. Uh, the history of houses. And I'm not going to get super uber specific about your particular style of house today. No, no, no. We're going, we're going all the way back to the very beginning so that we could understand some big concepts and then translate it into really, really practical knowledge about your home. Sound good? That is where it is happening. When we come back, let's talk about the very first room. In fact, the room that existed before there were such a thing as rooms. And I am referring to the Great Hall. No? Doesn't excite you? No? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, what's happening right now? <laughs> Alright, no, it's going to be fun. I promise. I'm so glad you joined me this morning. So much more to come. You are listening to Home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, Mark Ronick. <laughs> L.A. County's Public Health Department says that last month, 20% of new COVID cases were in vaccinated people, but that most cases were mild. A man from Encino has been arrested for allegedly submitting false applications, more than $27 million in PPP loans. And this year's first positive case of West Nile virus, as if we didn't have enough to worry about, in mosquitoes, has been confirmed in L.A. County. Trouble on the five. Hey, ever since uh, Duffy Power Services uh, became a sponsor here at KFI, I've been getting a lot of questions about how home backup generators work. So here it goes. Once Duffy evaluates your home, they hook you up with the perfect generator to meet all your needs. Then, when the next outage occurs, while everyone around you loses power, your generator automatically takes over and life continues uninterrupted. When the power comes back on, the generator turns itself off. It's really just that easy. What's also easy is stuff like 0% interest financing, payments as low as $72 a month, which makes your emergency power totally affordable. So as you know, the pandemic has everything in short supply. So don't wait. Call today and Duffy will make sure your life, your comfort, and your safety won't be interrupted during the next power outage or any of the ones after that. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say Duffy Power. Pound 250, Duffy Power, or find Duffy on the web at Duffy Power. Dot com. That's D-U-T-H-I-E power dot com. Now let's find out what's going on in the five. It's in Burbank, southbound side of the five, the four Burbank Boulevard. It's a crash that has two right lanes shut down. Your chance back to four Hollywood Way. We have Caltrans working in Fillmore on the westbound side of the 210, Rossford to the 5. All lanes there shut down until Monday morning around 5 o'clock. Watch for delay starting at Pulse Use Foothill Boulevard instead. Chino Hill, 71 northbound from Riverside Drive to Mission Boulevard. All lanes there still closed as well. That should be wrapping up in the next little while. But in the meantime, look for delays at Chino Avenue and a new crash in Upland on the eastbound side of the 10 at Euclid taking away the middle lane. Slow drive from Mountain KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert DeBucky. Sponsored by Water Heaters Only. Need a new water heater? Water Heaters Only, with over 53 years in business, offers low prices, quality same-day service, and for a limited time, monthly payments as low as $89 for a water heater replacement. Visit waterheatersonly.com. Terms and conditions apply. Rates subject to change without notice. Minimum loan amount requirements apply. 60% loan to value and 620 FICO credit score. Certain restrictions apply. Subject to credit approval. NMLS 3290. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California Finance Lenders Law License Number 6036970. Equal housing lender. Wake up! Have you seen these great home loan rates being advertised, but you've thought to yourself, I'll never qualify? Well, you clearly haven't called Intel Alone. Right now, Intel Alone is offering a 1.99% APR with no points or lender fees. This is even if your credit score is 620. 
So no more excuses. Even if you've got okay credit, you're self-employed, whatever it is, Intel Alone can help you get that great home loan. So call Intel Alone today and ask about a 1.99% APR with no points or lender fees, even if your credit score is 620. Call them at 1-800-918-6200. That's 1-800-918-6200. Or just go to IntelAlone.com. Intel Alone. Borrow smart. We're planning a trip to Spain later this year. But our Spanish is... <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. Babbel's conversation-based method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? No matter your learning style or experience level, Babbel has lessons designed for you that will get you speaking quickly and confidently. I tried learning Spanish before, but I couldn't stick with it until I found Babbel. There's no easier way to learn another language. Ahora hablamos español. He just said, now we speak Spanish. I can't wait to use our new language skills on our upcoming adventures. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Let me talk to you for a sec about your water heater and the exceptional Southern California company that has made servicing and replacing water heaters their specialty for over 53 years. That company is water heaters only. And as the name suggests, they do one thing, water heaters only. And the simple fact is they do them better than anybody else. Water heaters are no longer simple, but water heaters only makes it simple. If your water heater needs repair or replacement, you call water heaters only and well, that's it, really. Water Heaters Only is on the case that same day. You don't have to go anywhere or call anyone else because Water Heaters Only has everything you need, and they know more about water heaters than anybody else you would call. So, because they do Water Heaters Only, they also get the best equipment for the best prices. 4.8 out of 5 stars after thousands of reviews. You have any idea what it takes to maintain that kind of rating after 53 years in business? That's right. That's why you are calling them. And for a limited time, you can get zero interest on a new water heater for 24 months or payments as low as $89. So just reach out to the company that does water heaters only at waterheatersonly.com, waterheatersonly.com. In 2007, Marine First Lieutenant Travis Manion was killed in Iraq after saving his wounded teammates. Travis's legacy lives on through the five words he spoke before leaving for his final deployment. If not me, then who? Words that today fuel the spirit of Travis Manion Foundation. Words that live in veterans, families of the fallen, and inspired civilians who go out of their way to find a way, who help others with the help of others, who bounce back after each setback, who make good on good intentions. Through Travis Manion Foundation, if not me, then who, are words that can live in you too. Show the world what your character is made of, because character is invisible until it's not. Find out how you can strengthen the character of your community alongside empowered veterans, families of the fallen, and inspired civilians at travismanion.org. That's travismanion.org. It's okay if you're wondering, is the COVID-19 vaccine safe for people like me? And when you're ready, here's your answer. It was tested by adult volunteers of different ages, races, genders, ethnicities, and health conditions. Tens of thousands of people, a group as diverse as California itself. And thanks to them, we know the vaccine is safe. Let's get you there. Let's get to immunity. Learn more at vaccinateall58.com or call 833-422-4255. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to kfiam640.com slash rules. Well, hey, 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 it's me, Leo Laporte. I'm back from Hawaii. There's lots to talk about, lots of TV to watch. In fact, if you're looking to watch the Summer Olympics, we can talk about some alternate ways to watch over the Internet. 
maybe even get a little bit higher quality. We'll do that with our home theater guru, Scott Wilkinson. We'll talk about all your tech, answer all your questions, too, this weekend and every weekend. Join me, won't you? Leo Laporte, the tech guy. I'll be looking for you. Leo Laporte, this morning at 11. KFI AM for stimulating talk. conversation all weekend about the history of uh, your home, where it all came from, and why it's important to know that in order to free yourself to uh, play with certain things and make the house completely yours. There are lessons to be learned, practical lessons to be learned from uh, looking back at the history of where our homes came from. Uh, Going to get to that in just a second. I also want to let you know, though, that uh, I always love to hear what's going on with your home, and today is no exception. So, in a few minutes, as is our custom, we are going to go to the phones. The lines are open now. Now's your chance. Jump into the queue. Have any question whatsoever about your home. Design issue, construction question, DIY thingy, whatever. DIY thingy? A thing? <laughs> uh, here's the number to reach me. 833-2-ASK-DEAN. 833, the numeral 2, Ask Dean. And uh, give me a call, and let's talk. All right. We're not going all the way back to, you know, the cave. All right, there's no, that's not my purpose this morning. Where we're going is the pre-medieval, uh, okay? A little uh, at the end of the Neolithic period, the new Stone Age, and as we kind of cross over into the Bronze and Iron Ages, and right in there, uh, uh, and the reason is everything before that it's not really something you and I would particularly recognize as oh yeah that's a house uh, it's a different thing but we're talking about the birthplace of what we would consider oh okay that's a living structure above ground you know those kinds of things so let's talk about in a, in a uh, village in a, a tribal meeting place uh, the hall the hall it comes from an old English word. Uh, I, wow. <laughs> oh man, what was that? Yiddish? It was gonna. It was gonna go Yiddish. Uh, hail, hail. I don't know. I, I think I'm getting that right. Anyway, it comes from this uh, word. It literally means a roof and uh, and some walls. And uh, in some strange ways, hall is the modern day equivalent to just house in general. But specifically, though. It had this characteristic. It was one big old open space, usually with a hearth in the center. A hearth, by the way, is a set of stones upon which a fire burns. So, a fire burning in the center, no chimney. So this place was a very smoky place, but there was, a, you know, a hole in the ceiling. And the idea was the smoke would eventually make its way out the hole at the top of the ceiling. One big open. And by the way, the first open concept. Open concept. Open plan is how it all began. Before privacy was invented, <laughs> actually. And this is important, okay? Uh, because if we want to talk about the birthplace of, and we're going to return to the hall a couple of times here as we discuss, but if we want to take uh, talk about the birthplace of room, of a room, okay, then we have to realize that halls were invented and constructed before privacy was invented, really. Uh, meaning, you know, you're in there with everybody. Uh, every To eat, to drink, to work, uh, to play, uh, not, although there probably wasn't a lot of that going on at the time, and to sleep. So you're just in a big old uh, open space, gymnasium kind of dorm space, to do all the business that happens in bed, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> Tina's like, no, <laughs> no. So the very first rooms, antechambers, off of this uh, great hall began to uh, develop at, for those who are, were the, you know, the, the lord of the castle, as it was. Uh, antechambers began to develop in order to provide 
privacy and uh, retreat. In fact, okay, and here's your first fun fact for the day. Uh, you've heard the term drawing room, the drawing room, okay? Sometimes it's referred to as the parlor. Uh, it's this small area in older uh, style homes in which uh, there's just some modest furniture to sit and uh, to talk and I guess look at each other. Uh, so the drawing room, what you didn't know is, uh, you might have always assumed drawing, what's that with the drawing, uh, is this a place to do art? Am I supposed to do sketch work in here? What's going, no, it's actually shorthand. It's a shortened version of the withdrawing room. Ah, yeah, that's it. The very first rooms that were developed off the Great Hall were considered to be places where you could withdraw from everybody else, actually sit down, maybe two or three people, and have, God forbid, a private conversation, uh, you know, among other things. So, the drawing room is a room specifically set aside to get away from it all, all right? That is the beginning of it. Oh, and parlor is just a French version. Uh, parlor is from uh, the French root to speak, parlay, right? So again, it's just a room to sit and, uh, you know, face each other. So, what are the practical applications of this new knowledge? Here's the thing. We're not going to get stuck in our house's story. Uh, houses were and have always been what they had to be until they could be something else. Okay? So the hall had certain aspects to it. There was all, the, the hall has reverberated down throughout history, let me tell you, into our daily lives right now. Uh, but this first idea of like, you know what, let's, we really need another room. Now a thing, looking back centuries, that we just say, well, that's a well-established thing. Not for then. For then, it was like, you know what, we need something else. We've got to change our lives. Let's do this. And so the drawing room, uh, the drawing room was born. A good home is also a balance. We're going to talk about this when we come back, between community and privacy. So how do you achieve those two simultaneously? We will learn that lesson when we return. You are home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, Mark Rotherham. <laughs> Education officials in California say they don't expect the rise in COVID-19 cases because the Delta variant uh, to impact in-person learning in the fall. State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Thurman says he's confident schools will be able to stay open this year. CDC and the California Department of Public Health have already provided guidance that even as case rates increase, if everyone's wearing a mask and everyone who can get a vaccine gets one, we can keep our schools open safely. Students will be required to wear masks while at school regardless of their vaccination status. There are no children left. Officials say 90% of the migrant children who were living temporarily uh, in the Long Beach Convention Center have been unified with their immediate family. There are no children left here at the shelter. Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia says each of the more than 1,500 kids spent an average of 19 days at the shelter since April. The community donated about $250,000 for a variety of activities for the kids, including gift cards that were given out to children to help with basic needs and food and shelter as they exited. He says 130,000 toys and books were also donated. The shelter was one of several around the country set up to handle an influx of migrant children at the southern border. At the Long Beach Convention Center, Corbin Carson, KFI News. The Department of Defense says there have been nearly 2,000 breakthrough COVID-19 cases among its 2 million fully vaccinated employees. Most of the cases are because of the highly contagious Delta strain of COVID-19. Officials say around 70% of the Pentagon is at least partially vaccinated. And China is denying the World Health Organization's attempt to find the source of COVID. This is an evil virus. It's killed over 600,000 Americans, millions worldwide, and yet Speaker Pelosi refuses to hold a hearing on how this started. Republican, uh, Louisiana Republican that is, Steve Scalise, claims that there is evidence that COVID likely, likely started in the Wuhan lab. We'll find out what's going on on the 71 next. In Chino Hills on the northbound side of the 71 between Riverside Drive and Mission Boulevard, all lanes have been shut down by Caltrans. And they're in the process of picking up those cones, but in the meantime, watch for sudden delays heading through the area. A weekend-long closure in Fillmore on the westbound side of the 210, Rossford to the 5, 
All lanes there shut down until Monday morning around 5 o'clock. Slow drive starting around Pulse, use the Foothill Boulevard instead. And a crash on going in Burbank, southbound side of the 5 before Burbank Boulevard. Two right lanes are blocked and you're slow starting at Boyer Vista. New problem in Willowbrook, westbound 105 just past Central. Crash in the middle lanes. Delays already backing up to about Wilmington Avenue. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert Kibucky. So you're ready to build your dream kitchen, which is fantastic. Congratulations. Here's your first move. It should be a free in showroom consult with my uh, good friends at the kitchen store. That means you get two things right out of the gate. You get the creativity and the wisdom of an expert kitchen designer, which you need. And you're going to get that while being flooded with inspiration in the kitchen store's 7,000 square foot cabinet design showroom. Kitchen store is right off the 405 in Culver City. For more than 50 years, it is the place for kitchen cabinets in all of Southern California. State-of-the-art computer design, 12 months, same as cash financing, pricing that beats the big box home center. So start your new kitchen right and set up your free consult today by dialing 310-KITCHEN. That's 310-KITCHEN. And check out the kitchen store on the web at 310kitchen.com. Southline weather from KFI, partly cloudy after morning low and uh, morning low clouds rather and fog got low to mid 70s at the beaches low to mid 80s for metro la and the oc it's 65 in your belinda 70 in irvine 66 in carson 68 in huntington beach we lead local live from the kfi 24 hour newsroom i'm mark ron when it comes to your identity and keeping it safe the folks at lifelock want to make sure that your information stays secure so let's say during the pandemic or even now you're working overtime you're saving your money, you're paying off your debt, and now some identity thief wants to steal your information? This is why LifeLock by Norton helps monitor your information and alerts you to potential identity threats. And if you do become a victim, a dedicated U.S.-based specialist will be there to help fix it. Now, no one can prevent all identity theft or monitor every transaction, every business. But when identity thieves try to take what's yours, you don't have to take it lying down because there's LifeLock. Save up to 25% off your first year. Call 800-LIFELOCK or go to lifelock.com, promo code HANDLE. That's lifelock.com, promo code HANDLE, or call 800-LIFELOCK, promo code HANDLE. Once again, that's promo code HANDLE for 25% off at lifelock.com. Need a change in scenery? Why not make it happen right at home with a System Pavers Outdoor Makeover your family can enjoy for years? Joe Davis here, and one happy System Pavers customer. My wife and I just worked with the experts at System Pavers to completely transform the way we use our backyard. We added a new patio, landscape lighting, and my favorite part, a barbecue island that was customized for all my grilling needs. During System Pavers Big Change Sales Event, you too can upgrade your home and save big on a brand new view. Call 800 page 004 right now to lock in exclusive low prices and special financing from driveways, synthetic turf, walkways, and more. System Pavers is ready to help make a change today. Get started by calling 800 page 004 and save like never before during System Pavers Big Change Sales Event. That's 800 P A V E 004 or visit systempavers.com. All orders must be placed by July 31st and installation must commence within 60 days of sale. Financing subject to third party approval. See website for full offer details. Contract is license 661575. Live AFI AM640. Local. And our radio station. AM640 and live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app. You are home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. That's me. We're having a great conversation this morning. I think it's a great conversation about uh, the history of homes. And we are drawing from that history some uh, very practical and also fun uh, perspectives of, about your home and what's going on with you. By the way, uh, let me throw the number out one more time uh, because we have opened up the phone lines. I'm going to go to the phones in just a sec here. But we got room for you. 833-2-ASK-DEAN. 833-2-ASK-DEAN. Ask Dean any question that you've got about your house, whether it's a construction issue, a design issue, anything in between. Uh, give me a call, and I will do my best to help. All right. Uh, real quick, uh, before we get back to the phones, uh, I had said in the last segment that, that the combination of understanding the hall 
and the withdrawing room, or what we now call the drawing room or the parlor, was this need to uh, establish at least a, the tiniest level of privacy. And so, ever since, we have come to realize that uh, a good home is a balance between community and privacy. Isn't it interesting to think that now so many people assume, oh, this whole, this whole uh, movement toward open concept, uh, it's just the latest fad. No, actually it's not. It is the architecture of homes in some ways going full circle, a, a thousand plus year circle, full circle back to the value, the value of open space. The, the, so, so what tends to happen, and uh, your home is, is somewhere on this spectrum, okay? But what tends to happen is, in architectural terms, the pendulum swings. And you know, as the pendulum swings, it swings to an extreme at first. And then it finds itself spending more time, you know, in the middle, right? So what happened, especially uh, for a few hundred years after the Great Hall and the yearning for privacy, is that the, the wealthier you became, the more status that you wanted to demonstrate, then uh, the more you had multiple rooms in your home. Uh, rooms, 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 rooms. And that room uh, subdivision uh, got to the point where, you know, come the Victorian age, the idea of, like, large open spaces inside a house were actually rare. Everything was a tiny, small, cubicle space. I've had so many people comment about, you know, oh, we just loved, I've loved Victorian, I've always wanted to have a Victorian home my whole life. I finally got to go in and tour an authentic Victorian home, and oh my gosh, all the rooms were so small, and it was so dark inside. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. So... Where are we now? Well, we have moved back to the value of open space. So we've kind of, uh, as a culture in general, gotten uh, rid of the idea of, like, yeah, we don't really need a formal dining room. We don't really need a formal living or sitting room, okay? Uh, it'd be nice to have it, but in addition to that, we want this open space between family and dining and kitchen, okay? We have returned, in some ways, to the Great Hall. Now, what about the privacy side of things? Well, I've got critical, critical advice for you when it comes to uh, privacy for the other rooms in your house. Once you've opened up the main zone, the other rooms become that much more important. And uh, I will give you this advice, and we will be going against the grain, against the grain, uh, against the tide, swimming against the stream, the flow, the... Anyway, it's against. Uh, it is not <clears throat> what any builder that you've talked to has uh, told you, uh, and it's not what the builder who built your home did uh, for it as well. But it makes all the difference in the world. So... That is, uh, but you know what? I'm teasing you on that because it's time for me to go to the phones. And so we will hit that when we return to the subject. In the meantime, let's see if I can talk to uh, Barbara. Barbara, welcome home. Oh, hi, Dean. Thank you so much. I've called before and you've been a real big help. Uh, I live in a mobile home and I'm redoing my bathroom. And, you know, they're, everything's odd-sized in a mobile home. And the contractor that I got... He started off really, really good. I was very happy. But now that he's coming to do the tile in the shower area, I just am getting nervous. I talked to a couple other people. And what I did is I was able to get um, the acrylic shower base for the bottom, so there's no tile there. But because it's an odd size, I couldn't get a tub surround for that size. So unfortunately, I had to go to tile. But now that I'm looking at it, you know, he started the outside tile um, for the shorter walls from the outside in, and the insides are, are very e uneven. And I mentioned it to him. He said, oh, no, no, don't worry. We'll just put grout in there. And then I talked to other contractors, and what he did is he put green board, and then he put the quarter-inch backer board, and then he put the tile right over top of the backer board, and I've heard that you should put, it's called red guard, 
So I know that there are several ways to do a bathroom if you live in a home. But I do live in an older mobile home, so could you give me some recommendations as to how to, you know, put the walls in and how, what is the best way to do the tile because it's very not looking good right now, so I need help. All right, Barbara. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh... Yeah, um, I'm sorry to hear that that's, uh, that's uh, happening to you. So uh, it's actually very simple, and uh, thanks for delineating the steps because it makes my answer that much uh, easier for you. Um, every shower is co constructed out of two primary components. The shower pan, uh, where all the water ends up, okay, critical, uh, and uh, the shower walls, okay? Now, as far as the shower pan goes, the, the shower pan could have been tiled in or, or sloped and drained uh, appropriately, but uh, you've got, you found a, a, an acrylic base, an acrylic shower pan, great, that's fine. If that's what you, that's how you wanted to go with it and it fits well, that's your shower pan, boom. Make sure that the, the drain is sealed properly to it and you're off to the races. Now, as far as the walls go inside a shower, yeah, you're right. The walls need to be waterproof. Okay, and so what I, if I heard you right, he put green board against the studs. Green board is a, 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 a moisture, not waterproof by any means, but a moisture resistant. Uh, for